Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Jasmine Destine. If you're new here, if you're returning, hey girl, hey, what's up, what's good, what's goody? We are back with a new video. Your girl's gonna be doing a maintenance, monthly maintenance. I came back from my trip three weeks ago and yeah, everything's basically grown back. So we need to get it taken care of. We need to get the show on the road. I'm actually going out later. So I'm gonna do some of my maintenance today and then I'm gonna do the rest of it tomorrow. But all of the things that I need to get done I need to do my nails my fingernails. I need to do my toes pedicure I need to wax my underarms. I need to get my Brazilian done I'm gonna do my lash extensions and There was one other thing that I can't remember. Oh, and we're washing my hair So I still have my braids in that I got for my trip and honestly, I feel like they're a little fuzzy obviously, but I still because I got a boho I got boho like goddess knotless braids that's such a long name but because I got those kind of braids I feel like I don't know I think it's just giving Zoe Kravitz and I'm kind of okay with it like I'm gonna leave them in for as long as possible because I don't like doing my hair you guys like I like looking good I love looking good I love looking pretty feeling pretty all of that stuff but the actual like physical labor of doing it and doing it yourself and having to figure out what you're doing with your hair and all of that other stuff like I'd rather not braids are obviously very low maintenance I think they still look good my scalp is just really dirty like I've been going to the gym I've been sweating um, my scalp is dry so like I'm really focusing on just cleansing and moisturizing my scalp I'm not gonna be like focused on you know getting I'm not even gonna try and get the rest of my braids wet for real like I literally just want to focus on cleaning my scalp giving it a nice refresh a reset so yeah that's what we're doing and I'm literally doing it all by myself. Like, literally everything is going to be DIY except for my Brazilian. That I do go and I get my waxes done with my girl Mena at European Wax Center. So I'm going to be doing that probably tomorrow. But everything else we're doing ourselves because I want to save a coin. And I don't feel like going to pay for subpar just anything. I'd, I'd rather do it myself and know that it's going to come out exactly the way that I want it. So yeah let's just get right into it look at how dirty my hair is that's the first thing we're gonna take care of because your my hair is gonna obviously take the longest to dry and i am going i'm going to everyday people later like literally in like two hours Ooh, girl i just be pulling these braids apart yo why did no one tell me that goddess knotless they just like the hair literally just binds everything together like and i have to every freaking day and i wear my bonnet and i used human hair that's besides the point i think they still look really good because the girl that i went to to get them done she did them really small and very flat so yeah they're they're definitely like giving like more of a faux lock vibe or like they just look really messy, but I feel like they still kind of look cute. I don't know. I, I I literally, I don't care. I like them. So if y'all like them, um, then send me money so I can get my hair done again. Okay? It might be like them. So that's really all that mattered. I was like, I went to him and I was like, babe, I think it's time for me to take my braids out. He was like, no, keep them in like another week. He loves him some braids. So, girl. But yeah, so I'm about to get in the shower. I want to show you my little product lineup that I'm going to be using. I'm first going to go in with this dark and lovely cleansing water. I'm actually going to do this before I even get in the shower because I want it to sit. So this is the first um, thing that I'm going to go in with, the cleansing water from Dark and Lovely. This is specifically for braids, weaves, wigs, and locks. Oh, crrr. I've used this before. I like it. And then, uh, I love this. I'm going to go in with this shampoo from Paul Mitchell. Um, it's the scalp therapy shampoo this stuff. I have the conditioner as well This is probably my favorite shampoo and conditioner combo just because of the feeling that it gives my scalp Like they said scalp therapy and they meant meant it. It like does this minty tingling thing all over your head It's very very relaxing in the shower like literally washing your hair like obviously wash day is so stressful whether you're washing your braids or washing your hair like whatever you're doing whatever you're doing wash day is stressful okay 
this this is a moment in the shower this feels like a moment to self like it just simply feels so good i'm like what i don't know what they did what they put in here but girl it says grapevine sap and chamomile extract shampooing scalp therapy um yeah and i absolutely love and i like i said i have the matching uh conditioner and the conditioner does the same thing so it's just like ah i actually enjoy this part of wash day and then when i have to like detangle and stuff i'm annoyed again then the last thing i do when after i'm finished shampooing i'm not going to be conditioning my braids but i am going to be applying this moisturizing like um treatment this you're meant to apply and then wash out but part of me kind of wants to leave it on and it's a rice water based treatment so uh, it also has like a little nozzle like the other bottle so it's going to be like really easy for me to get into all of my parts this is going to help moisturize my scalp moisturize my hair um you know it obviously promotes healthy hair growth because it's rice water based and if you know you know so yeah and then it's like free of all of these things too and this is from heritage but yeah that's gonna be my lineup i'm gonna try and not get my whole like i'm getting my scalp wet but i'm definitely not getting the rest of my hair wet like i'm gonna be in the shower like doing it like that all in my parts <sighs> and look at how it gets it gets sudsy so this is a cleansing product think of it like a shampoo but it's a cleansing water like it's a water-based cleanser so it's not gonna be it's definitely gonna suds and all of that but it's not gonna be like i'm using actual shampoo even though i'm using actual shampoo next but this is just like part one you know because you gotta be really thorough with braids because i have all of these little sections and i want to make sure that i get every single inch of my scalp And it smells really good too and it feels good too oh yes oh. i honestly if i could keep these braids in for two months do you think that's crazy it's they're already fuzzy i was just watching um my girl amina marie I watched her video. She did. She posted like a TikTok on how she does her braid refresh, and she had her braids in for eight eight weeks, and they looked so good. Like she did a way better job of maintaining the neatness of her braids. Like at eight weeks, her braids look like how my braids looked at two weeks, and that's honestly because I went on vacation, so I was in that water, babe. <laughs> I want to get braids again after this. Like I'm, I already have my next style picked out. You know where I found this too? This I found at Target and it was like, oh period. Okay, and also I know I mentioned that I, this is the first time I'm washing my hair since my trip basically. But what I was using in between, like after I would go to the gym and stuff, I was using this uh, Sunday to Sunday Root Refresh. It's a micellar um, rinse and it's infused with apple cider vinegar. So it has like that apple cider vinegar smell, but it's like a little bit more subtle. But this on my scalp too like after my gym day and it definitely helped with like you know sweatiness and all of that and i feel like this helped with the longevity of like my braids up until this point without me having to actually wash them like i didn't have to wash them and this stuff works okay <laughs> i'm gonna just hit the back one more time but I'm gonna let that marinate for like a couple of minutes. I'm about to start my shower.
Okay, so I'm out of the shower. I tried not to get my braids wet that wet. I think I did an okay job. I'm gonna just towel dry. I'm gonna be outside, so hopefully they'll dry because I'm gonna be outside. Let's get a good zoom in. When my scalp is pink, that's how I know I cleaned the hell out of it. Because I have a really sensitive scalp. Um, chronically dry AF. The braids are clean, baby. Now I'm gonna go in with the rice water rinse and I'm gonna treat this like a moisturizer basically. For my braids, I'm not gonna be rinsing it out even though it says to rinse it out. Let it marinate overnight. Maybe I'll rinse it out tomorrow, who knows? But honestly, I don't think I'm gonna re-wet my hair. Yeah, so I'm just applying this to my scalp. It basically feels like a leave-in conditioner but it's a little bit waterier i feel like less is more okay i think i'm gonna put a little bit of um some shine into my hair this is the bio oil. I'm um, bio silk, not bio oil. Bio silk. Let me just apply it to my braids. Not not my scalp, just my braids. Oh my gosh, the way that goddess braids shed is actually ridiculous. Like I didn't know. Especially with human hair, because apparently, I don't know. I think synthetic hair would have stayed in the braid more, but those if you if you plan on having them in for a long time, curly synthetic hair is like literally so hard to maintain and look nice. That's it for the like cleansing of my hair and like the refresh. Now I'm just gonna style them. But like I said, I'm about to go out, so I'm gonna do my baby hairs. control the lot of body is just to make my hair like curl up okay you guys want to know a random story literally two nights ago i went out and i ended up going to victoria monet's listening party for jaguar 2 which she literally just dropped go stream it because it's bomb literally love her like i've been a fan of her for a little while now um i absolutely loved her last project i was listening to it that day when i was like getting ready to go out but i didn't know that i was gonna end up at the the listening party <laughs> I went and I was in VIP and I literally was sitting down in a section and I looked to my left and I saw Kelly Rowland and I was like wait what <laughs> and then I looked to my right and I saw LMI and I was like wait what and then literally sitting directly next to me was Shensia and when I went and I sat down next to her I was like girl I was literally listening to your music earlier today in the gym I was like I love it and she was like period a more new she was like no music on new year and i was like period <laughs> ah! and then she left but i was just like wow like my life is really crazy like things like that happen to me more often than you think honestly because that's like a very la thing i feel like you just go out and you don't actually think you're gonna like end up somewhere or be somewhere and there's gonna be like a bunch of celebs and stuff like that but it happens all the time like literally so I just thought it was super cool. I was just like, wow. It'd be feeling like full circle moments, you know? Like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing something, okay? I need to hurry up though, because I need to lax my under eyes. It's also almost time to laminate them again, but I don't think it's been six weeks and I don't want my eyebrows to fall out. The lamination basically just perms them like flat. So if you have naturally like really curly or thick brows which i don't necessarily have really thick ones but the way that they grow they grow like directly to the side and when i laminate them i laminate them up so i'm perming them up so that they lie flat going upward so it just looks like a fuller brow
Okay, you guys, it's the next day. Don't mind my dishwasher in the back going, but we're about to get into these nails. My pedicure, I actually, I went to the gym earlier today, so. And Euro's now a runner. She runs on the treadmill for three miles, and I broke my pinky nail really bad. I didn't even realize that, like, if you run, you're more susceptible to breaking your toenails if they're longer and my toenails are grown out <laughs> they're they're too long like they really do need to be cut down and i literally like broke my whole pinky toe nail off of my right foot so i don't know how i'm gonna fix that i'm gonna try and like salvage it i want to have cute toes i'm so sad Alrighty, so i've got a youtube video ready to go i'm watching diera um, and then I got all my nail stuff here. And of course my camera's gonna die, so I'm gonna have to change the battery. Okay, so this is my setup. Um, ooh, very janky, but you know what? It gets the job done. So this is like my lineup of all the products I use. I'll have them linked in the description box. I'm gonna use this hard, um, clear builder gel that i got off of amazon this everything will be linked down below because literally everything is from amazon so the next day and i'm about to do my nails i thought i was gonna have time to do them yesterday but honestly i have to do on my toes i was really tired and i had to cook dinner so didn't end up doing my nails but i'm gonna do them now these are what my nails look like before i'm actually not gonna be adding on any like tips or anything or doing my um a prey like soft gel i'm gonna strictly be using working on my natural nails because i'm trying to grow them back out so little background i'm on a natural nail journey i actually started this this like a couple of weeks ago i want to say it was a couple of months ago at this point i i feel like i grew them out to a decent length like they weren't super long but they were a nice cute length and then i kind of got super busy just with like a lot of stuff in life and i was not doing my fill-ins when i should have been doing them and i just kept breaking nails <laughs> and then at one point i just had to cut them all down and start from scratch and then i put on press-ons to go to curacao because i didn't have time to do my nails before going and the press-ons were like really cute simple easy straight to the point those stayed on for literally two weeks and now this is what my nails look like now you can kind of see that my nail beds are weakened. Like when you can see those like little lines and kind of like stress. I think they're called like stress breaks on your nail. Like I'm going to try and zoom in. Hold on. When you can see like the nail bed like 
my actual nail it has like these rough grooves in it like you can see it on my thumb as well that's from literally like having on like fake nails and then kind of like popping them off breaking them off they come off on their own it rips the top layer of your nail like your nail is made up of layers and it rips the top layer off sometimes you can rip two layers off I've had it rip three layers off I have had it ripped down to literally my under my nail and that hurts so bad um, which is like the main reason why I want to stop using like acrylic nails or like tips or um, soft gel nails like I want to stop putting stuff on my actual nail because my nails are naturally thin already and having to do that I feel like my nails aren't healthy you know like they're cute they look nice but in the long term like my nails be super paper thin um, and that's just a personal preference like I know people who consistently get their nails done and their nails aren't super thin like mine I think I just personally have naturally thin nails but I'm gonna grow basically all of that out like I'm just just gonna grow it out I've kind of already started like I've got a little free space here but we're just gonna be working on the natural nails and we're gonna get shorties we're gonna have shorties they're gonna be cute I've been seeing this like chrome 3d like 3d chrome design all over Instagram and Pinterest recently and I really want to give it a try I have some chrome powder that I got off of Amazon and I have everything else off of Amazon it's all gonna be linked down below in the description box and yeah we're gonna get into our nails so Okay, so this is what my nails look like starting out. I'm gonna shape them um, in a square shape because I want them to be square as they grow out. So I'm making sure to give myself really straight edges on the sides and then I'm gonna buff the top lightly with my nail file. Then I'm going in with my dehydrator, applying that to every single nail. And then primer, this is really crucial for making your gel sets last a really long time. And then I'm going in with base coat or foundation, whichever you call it. And I'm doing a thin layer of that and then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds and then I'm going in with this clear builder gel it's a hard gel um, which means it's a little bit stiffer than than a soft gel and I'm gonna do two layers of this this is the first layer because um, you do want to build your way up I don't want my nails to be super thick but I also don't want them to be too thin because then when they start to grow out it's gonna be really easy for the hard gel to kind of just peel off so you want to create a nice little layer um, I did two layers of that and then I'm going in with this baby pink very soft uh, gel polish that I also got off of Amazon. It's literally like $7. I do two layers of this and this is like the perfect pink. I think it looks great on everyone. Um, it basically is like a dupe for the OPI bubble bath. So I absolutely love it. Um, doing two coats of that. And then I cure for 60 seconds under my UV lamp. I'm cleaning off the sticky layer and I'm gonna go in and do my design. The nails are looking super clean, by the way. Um, I'm using this little lavender gel polish that I got in a set. I'll link the set down below. It came with a bunch of pastel colors. So I have like lavender, I have baby blue, I have like a mint green, I've got yellow, I've got coral. Like it's literally like 15 different colors. Um, so I decided to go in with the lavender shade and I'm gonna use like the baby blue next. The design that I'm replicating was like an abstract little funky swirl moment so really just do whatever you feel I wasn't even really like trying to replicate how it looked in the photo I was just trying to make sure that it was the same like one hand versus the other um, but I ended up doing three fingers purple and then two fingers blue because you guys know lilac lavender is my favorite color <laughs> Then I'm going in with top coat to kind of secure that because the design that we're doing, you need to make sure that that's encapsulated before you go in with the chrome powder. So I did top coat and then I'm taking this black gel polish. You could use um, white as well, but I kind of just wanted to use black because I feel like black looks better under the chrome powder for some reason. I think it just adds a little bit more depth than if you were to use white, but I have seen people use white before. So whichever one you have or you want to use is up to you, but I decided to do black and I'm using this little paintbrush that I got from Michaels and I'm creating these little squiggly lines right on the edge of that abstract design that I created. And then I was supposed to clean the sticky layer off of my nail before I went in with the black, but I forgot. So when I went in with the chrome powder, 
I kind of made an oopsie. And you guys are gonna see in a second. Cause I applied it and then when I went to go dust off the chrome powder, it was sticking to the blue and the pink that was on my nail or the purple and the pink too. Like it was a mess and I was really bummed out cause I was like, no, I thought I was doing so good and then I messed up. So I had to go and I had to clean that off with just some alcohol and do it again. But instead of going in with more black, I just took a top coat and I went over the black line with top coat. So it only stuck to the top coat. If that makes sense I hope that makes sense that's what it looked like and then I went in with like a clean makeup brush and I dusted it off it looked a little messy at first and I was like what the hell so then I took more top coat and I went over the squiggly line again which is making it look even more 3d because it's like really sticking out and like protruding off my nail so I wasn't mad at it but yeah I went in with more top coat and I did that over the line and then dusted away and it was perfect it cleaned cuticle oil because you know you need to do that and this is what my nails look like the design ended up coming off super cute very fun funky nails i love them i put on my chrome rings just to, you know set it off let me know if you guys like them down below good morning it is the next day we're about to get into these lashes okay i hope the sun literally being direct is not like i don't know i hope it allows i hope it's not too shadowy that's what i'm trying to get at but i'm about to do my lash extensions i need to put this little headband on first things first i just got out the shower i did my skincare i ordered chick-fil-a breakfast this morning at literally like 7 a.m i was up super early yeah like literally up at like i watched the sunrise like at 5 a.m but we're about to get into these lashes i'm so excited let me show you i've got everything inside of an amazon box right here i hope this is charged because i did not charge it but i've got the lash extensions i've got the lash glue and i've got a little mini fan all from amazon i want to give a disclaimer okay these are the same exact lash extensions and lash glue that i used on my trip in curacao the one that i did like in the vlog and you guys saw i literally applied them i the, like the next day or the day after i was jumping in the ocean i was in the pool like i was literally swimming and i lost no lashes i literally came back to la from that trip still had a full set i think i lost one lash on my um left eye but i still had a full set for like another two and a half weeks then it was weird i i do sleep on one side of my face but one eye basically like all the lashes started dropping out like on their own i wasn't losing any of my own lashes like they were literally just coming out and i was like okay this is cool like i've had them on for almost three weeks now like it was meeting the three week the three week mark but it wasn't there yet and i was like you know what i don't want to wait for them to come out i want to try and take them off so so, <laughs> I already had lost like literally all of them on my one left eye, but I still had like a full set on my right eye. I think I only lost like one cluster on this eye and I had like one left on this eye. So I was looking crazy like, and I know I look crazy because my man turned to me one day and was like, so are you going to like keep walking around with your eyelashes looking like that? And I was like, ah. <laughs> he kind of gagged me a little, but you know it is what it is like he i he was like i look crazy but like you know love me through it all man like let me through the one cluster on one eye and the full set on the other so i was like you know what i'm going to take them off so i went in the bathroom first i used um coconut oil and i like saturated my wa my water line with coconut oil i was rubbing it marinating it i let it sit just to see if they would just kind of like slide off nothing then i went in with my pharmacy beauty um makeup remover and it's an oil-based makeup remover like it's the one that it's a solid but once you start to like lather it in your fingers or like rub it onto your skin it turns into an oil and it's meant to break down makeup and i'm like surely this has to work so then i start using that and sure enough none of them want to come off 
then I'm like, dang, like what else can I use? So then I was like, you know what, Bucky, because when I was in Curacao, I got some of the glue, like just the glue on my fingertips. And I remember using like regular soap and water, like literally like hand soap and warm water and just scrubbing my fingers really, like really, you know, meticulously. And it came off my fingertips, like, because I hate that feeling of when you're walking around with glue on your fingertips. And if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. So I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna just try that. Try that did it work i literally was in the bathroom for like two and a half hours that shit did not want to come off like literally it got to the point where i eventually just had to start like peeling them off which was very painful i honestly do not recommend buying another glue my crazy ass is still gonna use it though because why did they last so long i was like i was literally like this is crazy but also like wow so if you're a psychopath like me, I'll link it down below. But honestly, you really shouldn't use this. Like, I feel like the consistency of this glue gives nail glue. Like, and that's crazy. But it says it's for lash clusters. Like, it literally says. And then it says that it lasts for six to eight weeks. You know how long that is? That's longer than, like, when I go to get my lashes done from the lash tech. She can't even guarantee me four weeks. This is guaranteeing six to eight. That's almost, that's two months. That's crazy. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna just use it. They sell a remover and I might end up going back and buying the remover to see if that works. And then also I was scrolling on TikTok yesterday and I saw another girl that's doing that was doing her lash extensions at like DIY at home and she used a completely different glue and she was swearing by it and she also said that it wasn't hard to take off so I might just go and buy that one for the next time but for right now I'm going to use this crazy ass glue like I'm going to just use it but that's my disclaimer don't don't say I didn't warn you okay don't get mad at me when you try to take them off and they don't want to come off like because <laughs> this glue is the truth i was like yo nothing like when i tell you nothing was taking them off i literally had to pull them out that's probably why i have no lashes now the lash clusters i got are lengths 12 through 18 and it's a d and c curl mix you got 12 through 18 of d curl and then 12 through 18 of c curl and i'm gonna keep my set short i don't want them to be super long i don't want them to be given too much dramatic you know i don't want them to give too much i don't feel like it's necessary for me but do as you please okay and then this is the fan that i got off of amazon isn't this so cute it looks like a little dyson um oh and it has the same charger as an iphone right USB-C. that's so cute please <gasps> it's charged amen second three four five okay five settings isn't this so cute i'm about to take this for when i go out i'm gonna be in the club like this Cause I be seeing the girls with their fans. I see y'all and I honestly want to be that. Like I just don't be having honestly the discipline to remember to charge a fan. Like I barely remember to charge my phone to be honest. I don't know how I'm gonna, I'm supposed to remember to charge a fan, my portable little light, my phone, bring my keys, my wallet. <laughs> like it's just too much, you know? I'm just a girl at the end of the day. Like I just wanna, I just want to be a girl. I'll link like my DIY lash extension tutorial um, that I already have up on my channel down below. So if you guys want to go watch like an in-depth, I'm not going to break it down again. Like I feel like I, I've already done that multiple times on my channel. So if you want like an in-depth tutorial, please go watch that one. But this, you're just going to see me do it because it's really not that hard. Like it's really, 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 really not that hard. I promise. So yeah, enough of the yapping. I've literally been talking for like too long. Let's just get right to it.
Then I have these 19 millimeters and they look like spikes. I'm gonna take these and cut them in half and make spikes. Okay, so this is what my lashes look like. Well, my lash. Well, it's my lashes. It's just my one eye. Let me tell you what I did. So I did 12s starting from the outer corner working my way in. I only did 12 D curl. Then I went back to the outside and I did 15s, but I only did 15 halfway. And then I took these 19 millimeter clusters that I had already and these are like more narrow than the other clusters I'm using I actually cut these in half and I made them spikes so these cut in half were like really skinny and gave more of a spiky look and they're 19 millimeters so they're also the longer like they're the longest length I have and I did six spikes so I just cut three of these in half so I had two halves so that's six pieces and I did six spikes of the 19 and that's that's literally it and I feel like this is this is perfect. Like it's not too heavy. It's not making my eyes droop. I love a cat eye on my eye shape because I feel like it just really um, accentuates the shape of my eye. So I, I do like a longer length on the outside. But I knew that I didn't want them to be super long. That's why I did 12s. And I wanted them to be full but not too heavy. So and I love the spike. Like I always whenever I go to get my lashes done, I always always ask my lash tech for spikes and I always want the spikes to be like significantly longer so that they actually poke out and I want them to be like wispy and like spacey so I literally always tell her like yeah you can make like the spikes like really choppy so that's what I was trying to replicate <sighs> girl are you telling me this is gonna stay on for six to eight weeks my lash my bottom lashes keep low-key getting stuck to the top I should have put some little iPads down here um so that is a note that I will say for you guys when you're doing it is stick some little iPads under here so that you can protect your lower lashes because I just have a little bit like ow I have the tiniest bit of glue residue on my lower lash line not a crazy amount but just really like right here um because I had like sneezed at one point twice and I like closed my eyes so it made like the glue transfer but these look Oh my god, these are so pretty. Like, I'm actually obsessed. These are so nice. I located that. And to think that these are DIY, like, they're cute and natural, you know? Yeah, ate that. So I'm gonna do the other eye and then we're gonna wrap this shit up. <laughs> okay, so. We finished both eyes. This is the lashes is given, okay? I have some tips and just things that I wanna point out um, that I realized as I was doing this. So the first thing that I literally just noticed, I don't know if you, I don't know if you could still see, but this clear glue, this clear lash glue dries white. So I had to go back in with you guys saw I used the bond first to make my lashes, my natural, like my actual lashes sticky so that the lash clusters would just like stick on better because I found that method to be a lot easier rather than just using just the clear glue. I feel like this, this is a really sticky glue. It's just not like a long wearing. Like this on its own doesn't last two weeks. It don't even last a week for me. It don't even last a day to be honest. I go to sleep, wake up, all my lashes be on the pillow. So this alone is not doing it for me. This one obviously we know 
very long wearing it's just it dries clear so when i just finished like pinching my lashes together i noticed that some of the glue looked white so i went back in with the bond and it's a little mascara wand and i was basically just like coloring in and covering over the glue so it's black again which i'm not mad at because i feel like it's also reinforcing the clusters and then i would just have to go in with the sealant on the other side of this bottle the seal and basically just seal that in so i'm definitely going to give you guys an update probably on instagram and tiktok because i filmed a tiktok of me doing this as well um and then i'll probably update on my instagram story so if you're not following me there then girl i don't know how you're gonna see the update but other than that girl i don't know i feel like i ate down like I could have went heavier for sure i did like basically two layers of lashes but i didn't want to be too heavy like i didn't want my lashes to be super duper heavy oh and the other thing which i feel like i already mentioned but i'm gonna mention again the next time i do this i would definitely wear eye patches on my lower lash line just to protect my lower lashes from getting any glue residue on them i would just say take your time sis like do not rush this i feel like when you rush is when it kind of gets really messy glue gets everywhere the glue the texture of this glue feels like nail glue so when it gets on your fingers you know how when you get nail glue like we were putting press-ons on and you get nail glue on your fingertips and then it's like it just feels like it's tight on your skin like that's what it feels like so you want to take your time i was very very delicate with this like i only like gently dip the cluster because a little of this goes a long way like i'm telling you you don't need a lot so i'm gonna give you all an update and see how long these last and i also really like this little fan like it's so cute and i like how it has a ton of settings but yeah that's my lashes done people pay for lash sets that look like this easily over a hundred dollars i feel like i just saved myself a calm 120 dollars on a lash set as far as my maintenance i had to cancel my brazilian because it's actually that time of the month yes mother nature decided to visit me but i look cute lashes always like i could be a bare face lashes and lip gloss shorty honestly for the rest of my life i'm lazy and this is just like enough for me like my lashes make my eyes pop lip gloss makes the lips look juicy good skincare i'm good i don't need anything else even though i do like getting glam i don't need it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a huge thumbs up down below let me know also leave a comment and let me know what diy maintenance you do on yourself because i feel like a lot of you do diy maintenance now or maybe you don't and you just enjoy watching these videos either way Leave a comment down below. I love you guys so much. Don't forget you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you in my next upload. And also hit that subscribe button because I'm trying to hit 150K, and then I'm trying to hit 200K. So join the fam. I love you guys, and y'all see you in my next upload. Bye.